Do we have a mess? <laughs> We're up and at it today. It is 11.30. Um, of course, we've been up longer than this, but we have some exciting deliveries today. We have two of our chairs that are coming in here that are gonna be delivered very soon. I just got a little Target delivery too of like Valentine's Day stuff so that we can make cupcakes and all of that while it's Valentine's Day. I think that's what we'll do, make cupcakes, just enjoy the day. We have a lot of stuff going on around the house. I'll kind of give you updates. I'll kind of give you like a process of like what we're thinking we're gonna do. A lot going on. I haven't really updated you guys in a little bit. I kind of took last week off a little bit to myself. Like at the end of last week, I kind of just didn't vlog too much. So we'll get back to it and show you guys around. Got this other chair in. So we'll have these two chairs, a coffee table. We'll have hardwood here. And then we're gonna have one long really pretty sofa in here so this will be like the formal room once we can get it all fixed up um in the floors i'll keep you guys updated but i'm gonna get off and read to mace i mentioned this on instagram story but i just got this hamper when we moved in and i love it it's so big mason also likes to push this around um but this thing is awesome move it can you take it to the laundry room can you take it to the laundry room Close. Let's keep going. Good job. Right in here. Good job. Laundry room. Speaking of things we need to do, one of the rooms we're gonna kind of gut out as well as as well as um, the master bath, which is a huge one. Like the bathrooms in here, we're definitely gonna gut. We're gonna do this laundry room. We're just gonna change out the floors, the cabinets, things like that. Anywho, that's kind of what we have planned for the bathrooms. I'll have to show you guys the bathrooms and stuff because especially the master, we're gonna completely gut it. Just rearrange a few things. And the same with the Jack and Jill too. We'll eventually change up the tile and counters in the kitchen, that's not necessarily a priority. And then here, the railings on the stairs, kind of upping the fireplace and then making this a little bit more updated. And then what else? Pool room's another big one, but that one is gonna be kind of Davis's go-to. <laughs> so uh, we'll see, but I also need to work on my office. And then a huge thing that has to get done are the floors and we're gonna rip up the carpets and put down hardwood. So can't, oh, we're also doing the doors and windows, which you guys will see a before and after. I don't think we're gonna get them for a few months. That's kind of what's going on, updating you guys. And I'm just gonna clean. We got some packages at the door, so we're gonna open those, see what those are. And I need to organize our closet so bad, or my closet. We have his and hers closets. Um, and a lot of people are asking if we put in those storage units, and we actually didn't. They were already here. This house had really good storage. Um, when we moved in and it's been great. So I just need to reorganize and hang up all my stuff <laughs> and get in order because we're like almost a month in here and I still haven't organized my closet. So that's my to-do list today. I was wondering why he was being so quiet. Looks like him and Rose are having a little powwow. You having a little powwow? <laughs> These two are best buddies. Did we get mail? Do we get mail? You put leaves on Rose? Is that a leaf on Rose? You're such a good sport. You're such a good sport. Did you put a leaf on Rose? Yes. Yeah. Can you help me? Hear that? Can you go set that down right there? Okay. Ordered so much from Amazon. It is crazy. A box in a box. Let's see. Let's get it. Open one, two, three. Oh, big help. Whoa. Whoa. Isn't that big? It's kind of heavy. It's 10 pounds. Got it? So I know I showed you guys the garage gym. I ended up ordering a few of these slam balls to put in there and I got them all different colors and this fluorescent orange is so pretty. But then I got the stand that we could put them all on. <coughs> so we're gonna put that together too. 
and see what it looks like. Thank you. Yes. I love you. Okay, that was a rush. A lot went on just then when they were delivering our new chairs. So these are the chairs that we went with. They are Restoration Harbor. I say chairs because there was another one here, but they sent cocoa instead of chestnut. So I sent that right back and said that ain't the same color i'll show you guys a picture it was like you guys <laughs> this is not the same color <laughs> um but i absolutely love it that's from um rosie days my boutique and then that is from target magnolia home magnolia i can't remember how they say it i love it so we got the ottoman and this and it's really comfortable I love it so much it's the perfect color for us obviously we're going to change out these hardwoods and stain them a different color but for the color scheme we're going for and like the ideas I have in mind this is perfect it really is beautiful let me actually move this so you guys can see oh there she is pretty much the theme for the house is just cozy comfortable this is going to be our formal living room i know if you followed us in our last house um you saw that like it was pretty dark in there which is fine we actually have our old couch upstairs in the pool room which fits perfectly it was kind of dark and since it's kind of gloomy here a lot during the winter i really wanted to keep it nice and bright accents of black like black cream and tan but keep the walls nice and bright keep the windows nice and open keep, bring light in just so everything is like uplifting in here i did not want to go with a darker toned house you know what i mean like darker paint darker cabinets i was really happy that these were white cabinets um and yeah just keeping it cozy and comfortable because you know we're at home quite a bit especially now and yeah so it's kind of the little update on like where we're going with designing also if you're over looking at this wall or all the walls I've ex i think i've explained it before but we got all the wallpaper down and there's just areas like that painting is actually the last thing that we're going to do in the house um because the painter suggested that we wait until the end um that way they can come in and do everything so i'm okay with that i can live with this to be honest with you i mean if i need to i can go get like a paint bucket and paint it real quick and then let them do it but they're gonna have to like drywall retexturize do all that kinds of stuff it's gonna be a lot of work another thing too while i have you just kind of give you guys house updates so we have doors going all the way down we're replacing all of them so i don't know if you guys can tell but they're obviously like different doors and like windows combined into one we're going to make them into sliding doors um all the way down just to open it up and then this window we are going to make this one giant window so there won't be any bars in here it'll be like one gorgeous view i cannot wait i mean this is beautiful but I just really wanted these two columns out. So we're going to open that up and it is going to just look insane. This couch is actually what Davis chose, believe it or not. Mason's over here playing with it. So Davis actually chose this couch for the formal. And I ended up really liking it. He saw it in store. We were sitting on it and everything. Um, we're going to kind of push this back more and put a nice sofa couch back there. Really beautiful drapery here. Something that's very flowy. Even though they sent us the one chair that was Coco. I'm still happy. It's kind of funny. I told Davis, he was like, it looks all, it all looks good. And I was like, it does. And it's ironic that they sent us a cocoa chair and a chestnut chair because we were going back and forth. Like, which one should we get? Like we were constantly back and forth with this. And, um, it's just ironic that they literally sent it. And we were like, Oh, thank God we went with chestnut <laughs> because we like chestnut way more. It's like not so dark, you know? Hello. You say hi. Where's your teeth? <laughs> so we had some. Look at this mountain today. Ooh wee. That is beautiful. Cool. <laughs> so the painting i just got for this just came in i got a framed on frame bridge but i bought it off of etsy 
looks so pretty. I also am probably going to switch a lot of things around. I just kind of put things here. And then I figured I'd take away. I'm also waiting for some dried pompous or whatever. It's kind of cute. I was kind of thinking like the horse trotting through type thing. Does that make sense? I have some moss balls that came in to go in there. And I'll probably get rid of those books, to be honest, just to keep it a little bit more simple. I actually just put Mason down, and I'm about to organize some of the stuff that I have. I have, like, all these little flashcards for him that I really want to organize and just get in one place. I'm actually going to have to wait until Monday for my other set to come in. Let me show you. So I have a couple things I need to organize. Even though it's not Valentine's Day yet, I'm going to put this in the Valentine's Day box that I am going to store it in because I just need it out of this. This basket is like the basket that I'm gonna keep kind of around the door, the front door to um, get all the makeup, PR, and things like that. Things I need to take like upstairs or just distribute, you know, whatever. But I showed these, I think I, yeah, I shared it with you guys in the vlog. Um, but I like to store photos in these. I have a bunch of them upstairs. I'll probably show you guys in a little bit and I'll show you guys um, what we did to the filming room and the setup we have. I have to go on a hunt for all the decor and stuff. But anywho, it drives me nuts when these flashcard things like smash and they don't actually work, which I know it's not a big deal, but like I want them to be stored in a nice place. I don't know, I, obviously the kids, they're gonna like smash it, but uh, now is the time that I really want to organize them. So these are actually the four by six and I got a little small bin of these and I can definitely use this for something else like these little ABCs like the like where you connect the picture to the word. So I'm gonna put these in here. So these are four by six, but I did get some five by sevens so I could put these little flashcards in because these just barely don't fit. Um, so I have those coming on Monday and then I'll organize all the flashcards and everything. But for now, I'm going to organize what I can and like little pieces to little things. I think the first thing is going to be the easiest thing, which is just the Valentine's Day decor. So I got all of my stuff on Amazon, which you can definitely get at like Home Depot and stuff. I don't know which one's cheaper. I'm going to be honest with you. I just was shopping on Amazon and said, let me go ahead and get that. I'll link my Amazon store below if you guys are interested. All just fits perfectly in this little box. So now I'm gonna take all these little things and start organizing. Um, I think I'm gonna start with these ABC things. This one is complete, so we've got rid of at least one big box, which is this guy. Now you just open it up, got the ABCs, have it all organized. So I love this. I also love that this one's like a kind of smaller one than the other photo one that I have. This is great. Good morning. <gasps> you got chocolate oatmeal over your mouth, huh? Whoa! Is that, uh oh. I'm doing these flashcards that I got him because he does them so well. It's so cute. We are up this morning. It's Monday. We have a bit to do today. I need to clean my filming room. I want to film a video today as well for my main channel. And then I want to show you guys the entryway table, talk to you about where everything's from because I really like the way that it turned out. I washed my hair yesterday, by the way, so this is like it's decent today <laughs> right now we're just like having coffee i got these glasses at home goods and i love them davis was like you should buy the second um set so you had like it would have been eight glasses total and said i just got four and i was like no it's okay i'll just get one and then i got home i was like oh i wish i would have got another one because these are nice glasses they're like kind of thick and i like the design on them but i found some at walmart that should be coming in <laughs> that i really like too so i'll have one more little set but yeah, we had an interesting weekend. Davis actually got a screw in his hand. If you're queasy, just go ahead and skip forward, but I'll show a picture. We were putting up these curtains, which I'll show you in a minute. And he had his hand like on the pole as he was pushing the screw in and the screw broke off. 
and it was in his hand and he was just it was one of those things where he said it we were like, okay. So we were asking about something and then he said, oh, I don't know. Let me figure out how I'm going to get this screw out of my hand. We're like, okay, okay. <laughs> and then he showed us and we were like, oh, okay. That's not good. <laughs> we ended up having to go to the emergency room. I couldn't go in, but I went and took him and he got it out and everything and everything is good. You know, he didn't like hit any arteries or um, any nerves or anything like that. So luckily it was like not majority of the screw that broke off. So that's good. But that was an interesting weekend to say the least. Does daddy have boo boo? Look yeah, but anywho, and then we spent pretty much all weekend cleaning the house. I got caught up on laundry, and there was just a lot that needed to be done. So I kind of just stayed off my phone and did everything. Um, but I want to show you guys these flashcards because they're so cute. Shh, <sighs> sleep. Mom, <laughs> what's this one? Thank you. <laughs> Try to teach him the sign language, but thank you. Ah, 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 ah. What's this one? Uh -huh. What's this one? Uh -huh. Burr. Uh -huh. Cold. Papa. No. Mommy. Uh-huh. Dada. Yeah. Cookie. Cookie. Mm. No. Mama. Banana. Banana. Yes. Book. What's this one? Baby. <laughs> What's this one? Bye bye. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the entryway table and the new curtains where the screw went today was his hand. So these are the curtains. I do have two more panels coming for each. I want to see what they'll look like, mainly for the white. I don't ever see myself shutting these side ones, but I do love them. Got them at Restoration Hardware to match this. So this is the same color as this. It probably doesn't look like it because the sun's coming in, but they're the exact same color. And then Davis's painting came in. This is what he ordered. It's just a big white buffalo. And I showed this on Instagram, but this is my little entryway table. I plan on hanging that. I just don't have time right now because it has the two <laughs> side corner ones, like where you have to hang it up like that. But the actual print I got on Etsy for like 20 bucks. So I had it printed from Framebridge, framed. And then I got all this stuff. I'll have this all linked below. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this because it's bothering me. But I really like the way it turned out. I think it's really pretty. Rose, what do you think? <laughs> I need to wash my rug bowl. Love it. And once that gets hung, I, the, the goal was pretty much to kind of make it look like the horse was in the field or whatever. And that was just, that was the goal. So slowly but surely coming together. I mainly just want the floors done. And then we will be starting on the reno of the Jack and Jill bath. We're doing the Jack and Jill bath first. So we're doing Jack and Jill bath, master bath, laundry room the three major renos and we're gonna start on the jack and jill because i really want to do mason's first i kind of want to like get his bathroom done and get his room like completed and really work on that so that's kind of my focus and then we'll work on the master bath and bedroom and getting that nice and pretty but till then i want to focus on mason's stuff um and just make it nice cozy for him and just a really good enjoyable space and i'm gonna do something a little bit different in his room here than i did in the last house we did more like blue grays creams and then and then this time we're doing like a safari theme so we'll have like one wall that's like a really beautiful green and then the neutral and then neutral colors all the way around so this is literally the setup that I have right now. I just did um, some IG stories sharing these freaking jeans. And this top, this is all from Rosie Days. So comfortable. 
I said I needed another pair of these jeans, but my size is sold out, so I'm gonna have to order more just so I can get another one. It's really cool because it has like this fun detail where it's like scrunched here and it has this opening. It's kind of different, but these are Can Can. If you know Can Can, you know um, that they're amazing, great quality, and that's what these are. So I'm just wearing them. And then one of our graphic tees, we have a lot of good graphic tees. I just got done filming a YouTube video on this makeup look obsessed with it you guys it's so freaking good um it's gonna go on my beauty channel i feel very accomplished right now i have a lot more work than i need to be doing too but i got my youtube stuff done i've been vlogging like i feel good mm -hmm.